the result of that, I think you can blame the banks because they're bastards. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, that's... That's on, uh, there are quite graphs, actually, that you can get that show the decline in the, uh, in the economy uh, as, according to the rise in the bastardness <laughs> of the banks. <laughs> and I, of all things, I think you're absolutely right. I totally agree with, with Mark there, because the, the boss of Lehman Brothers paid himself £23 million as a salary last year. I think it's outrageous. But what, what struck me more this, this evening is that uh, I think it's Jackie from Rich Hill. Is that right? Rich Hill. I find it quite ironic that you're asking about... <laughs> 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 is it just me? <laughs> <laughs> you better move to Beggar Lane. Um, <laughs> I totally lay the blame down at America's door, right? America at the moment, I hated the world over. The economy has gone to, to ruins. And what do they do? They try and put a black man in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take the blame. Pass on the bus. Uh, <laughs> do, do you think we're going to see a black man in the White House? Is that of interest? I would like to think so, but it's not going to happen. I don't think so either. You know no. what? I don't think so. Because that bit of America, that bit down there, in the middle, bottom, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called, what you doing here, boys? No work for you. <laughs> Those people are yet to vote, right? And if you just imagine them at the polling stations, uh, Obama, Obama, ain't that the guy we're looking for? <laughs> I love that story during the summer of. <laughs> Do you know the one that uh, your, uh, the Lexus reversed? Onto oh. a Porsche <laughs> on the Lisbon Road. This is, a, this is a terribly nice part of Belfast, Lisbon Road, and a very Porsche uh, sort of supermarket. Some woman in a Lexus. Co-op. Forty thousand. It's not. <laughs> Forty thousand pound Lexuses do not park in the co-op. And she reversed. She reversed over a Porsche onto the top of a Porsche, and I just the wee guys stuck Would in their shelves. Would it make your evening if you could see it again? Oh! <laughs> Can you imagine the wee guy stuck stuck on the shelves in that there supermarket? I'm, I'm announcing it. I'm announcing it. Let me announce it. With that, with that, with the owner of the blue Porsche. <laughs> Please make yourself known to information. And somebody's parked in a car. <laughs> oh, you're coming right. Yes, the economy's in meltdown, poverty looms for millions, and the nation might go bust. And we're all asking the same question. What is going on with Alistair Darling's weirdo eyebrows? <laughs> Can we have our next question, please? Hey there, it's uh, Greg from Collybacky. I was wondering, um, who do you blame for women's rights? Greg from Collybacky. <laughs> <laughs> who do you blame <laughs> for women's rights? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to start on that? Call me back, up there now, tell you. Um, what are you women? Women doing everything. <laughs> but don't bring in cattle. <laughs> <laughs> you are so dead, man. <laughs> You're on telly saying this. He's are, you single by, are you single by any chance? He's a virgin, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> Look at him, he's never been near a woman in his life. <laughs> That's a brilliant question. There must be a lot of, you've got a load of others. Who's to blame for the end of slavery? <laughs> <laughs> Who's to blame for the ridiculous notion that the earth isn't at the centre of the universe? Who's to blame for the uh, end of the ducking stall? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Jiminy Joseph. Is that a black man on the end of the panel? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think anybody from, I don't think anybody from Colour Buggy's ever said by Jiminy Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> Was a village. <laughs> what do you call? You thought it was a speech impediment. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a poor lad. What? People with outrageous views. I've got a, a mate who was in a taxi. There's a true story. Not the sort of bloke who makes it up. I think this is a true story. He said uh, um, when all the riots were going on in Burma a little while ago, as he was in his taxi and the taxi driver said, Go, you see man, what's going on in Burma? That's terrible, that, isn't it? What's going on out there? Dreadful. And my mate said, Yes, yeah, dreadful, isn't it? And the taxi driver said, I mean, you can't have monks running all over the place like that, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Who are we going to blame for women having rights? 
Collie Baggy. <laughs> Can we have our next question, please? I'm Grania from Crumlin. Who do you blame for ageism on television? Thank you, Grania from Crumlin. Well read. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ITV newsreader Mark Austin said that some people were only on TV because of their looks. <laughs> How did you know, Mark? <laughs> but who can we blame for ageism on television? Who can you blame? I think, uh, well, Mark Austin ha ha was kind of whinging uh, that uh, a lot of the young newsreaders aren't professionally, professionally trained journalists and they were too pretty. And uh, this is the same Mark Austin, by the way, who picked up an award uh, voted for the read by the readers of the Sun newspaper as the sexiest male newsreader. So, mm -mm 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 -mm. and I, I'm, I'm I kind of agree slightly in terms of when I see someone reading the news, I, would, I don't want to see someone who's been at a war zone. I don't want Kate Ad to read the news to me, because that says there is bad news happening. <laughs> and I don't want to see an old person reading, <laughs> reading the news, you know, because all I can think of is, is, is there a bag under the desk? I don't <laughs> Well, I want someone that's aesthetically pleasing. I think the question should be more uh, on the lines of um, is, is there should be more diversity on TV because that's what we want to see. So people that represent all of us. Uh, like for example, I'm very pleased to be here tonight, uh, but my real goal is my own TV show uh, because in reality, this isn't all that. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but as we all know, the BBC also has a diversity policy <laughs> and apparently I've got to wait for Lenny Henry to die. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, one in, one out, let's not rock the boat. Just time now for this week's news. I will read you various newspaper headlines and I want you to be faster than Rose Neal out of the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> that one's what? <laughs> Mecca will defy Muslim death threats by changing his name to Mecca. <laughs> What's eating, Noel Edmonds? <laughs> Something. <laughs> Bullet in head girl defies doctors, but nurse finishers are off. <laughs> and finally, my facelift almost killed me. Says Johnny Adair lookalike. <laughs> That's it. That's the end of the show. We need to spend an hour explaining that joke to Stephen K. Amos. <laughs> but please show your appreciation to the team. Colin Murphy, Jake O'Kane, Mark Steele and Stephen K. Amos. <laughs> and until next week, remember, don't blame yourselves, blame each other. Goodbye.